On the last day of Chinese President Xi Jinping's European trip, he sat down with France, Germany and the European Commission. All agreed to seek fairer trade rules and to work side by side on solutions over global security and economic issues. But above all, the meeting in Paris was about the future relations and challenges between China and the European Union. We want to be able to move ahead with the construction of a renewed multilateralism. We have differences. Of course, the exercise of power in human history is not without rivalries. None of us are naive, but we respect China and we are committed to dialogue and cooperation. The Chinese president stressed the importance of mutual trust in the relations between his country and Europe. For today's China-EU relationship, cooperation is a defined feature, even though there are differences or competition to some extent. Such competition is constructive, and cooperation always outweighs competition. We cannot let mutual suspicion get the better of us, and we must not always have to be guarded against each other. One project that could benefit is China's Belt and Road Initiative. Although European countries are still reluctant to join the initiative, some are considering joining it. An active European role. Germany wants to participate in One Belt, One Road Initiative, the Silk Road. I believe this is a very important project. We as Europeans want to play an active part in the project, and that must lead to a certain reciprocity. So in spite of all the differences, the EU and China are now ready to confront the changing world together. And that in itself means a remarkable new chapter in the relations between the two. I'm Stefan de Vries for CGTN in Paris.